campers and welcome back to Building Your Empire with Miss Allie. Today we'll be learning about how long before there were books or the internet, the Egyptians came up with a way to record their history. Believe it or not, they created paper out of a plant. They called it papyrus, which is where the word paper comes from. Papyrus is made from a plant called a reed that grows on the banks of the Nile River. But how, you're probably wondering. Well, first, the Egyptians would remove the outside layer of the stem. Next, the inner layer of the plant was sliced into long strips and placed side by side with a second layer placed on top going the other way. Then the whole thing was soaked in water and pressed under a big rock for 21 days. The juice of the plant acted like glue and bonded the strips together with the help of the sun to dry it. That brings me to our special project for today. We're making our very own papyrus paper. But wait, there's more. Earlier this week, we learned about what it was like to be a pharaoh in ancient Egypt. But a ruler is only as good as his subjects. So it's important to know some of the other jobs that contributed to this civilization. Well, let's look into your time travel kit. Take a few minutes to read over the list of jobs and then we'll continue. Welcome back! Now that you've read the ancient occupation list, it's time for you to choose which job you would want if you went back in time. Once we make our papyrus paper, you're going to draw a picture of yourself in the job of your choice. Now, let's go over our materials. Today you'll need a bowl, some glue, a cup of water, wax paper, a brown paper bag, and something to stir with. I'm going to use the back of a spoon. The first thing we're going to do is take your paper bag and rip it into strips that are one inch wide. After you rip your strips, I ripped about 12, you're going to take your glue, and your water and pour equal parts into a bowl, about a quarter of a cup of each. And then you're going to stir. paper that's a little bit bigger than an actual piece of paper. Then you're going to dip your strips that you cut into the glue and water mixture. Make sure they're thoroughly coated on both sides. Then you're going to remove the excess just like this and place it on the wax paper. You're gonna place the strips up and down first and make sure they overlap. And then you're going to go the other way when you've placed all the ones you wanna do up and down. After you're done laying all of your strips, you're going to let your papyrus paper dry overnight. And then tomorrow, you're going to paint yourself portrait with whatever ancient job you want. Thank you for watching Building Your Empire with Miss Allie, and I'll see you soon.